Hi folks, so uh, question 11, so two friends are building a skateboard ramp, so this shape here that's given to us is a skateboard ramp. So Tracy draws the following diagram as part of her design for the ramp. Uh, it is made up of a triangle and a square, it's scale of 1 to 100, so the angle A is marked. Um, so for the first part of the question, you have to draw it then. Uh, but you have to draw it on a different scale. So the scale is 1 is 50. So they've drawn in the first part for you here anyway. So you don't actually even need to know that it's 1 is 50 because it gives you the first part of it. So um, that distance there is 2 centimeters. And then over here, it's 4 centimeters. So 2 centimeters has become 4 centimeters. So they've changed the 2 centimeter side into 4. So therefore, they've doubled it. They've multiplied it by 2. So you need to multiply everything in it by two then. So uh, this part along here, along the bottom, that's also two. So then therefore the bottom, when you draw it in this diagram, has to be four. And then uh, the next part from uh, the bottom of the triangle is 3.5. Therefore the bottom uh, of it in the drawing has to be seven because two times 3.5 would be seven. Um, we can go up four as well, just to finish drawing the square, and then go across the top, and then uh, once you've got that, then you can just draw in the diagonal. Now you must use a ruler with these types of questions. Why well, didn't do it here? Obviously, uh, because I can't. But uh, you'll lose marks if you do if you do it freehand in an exam. So just be really careful with it. Uh, take a little bit of time doing it as well. Don't rush this because it's easy marks, but a lot of people lose out on them because they're not uh, being careful. The second part says to measure the size of the angle A. So what you've got to do is you've got to use a protractor, put it down there, uh, the middle part, and uh, just go up the side of it and see what the angle is. So if you measure it, you should get around 30, so 29 or 30 degrees. Right. So part B of the question then is Pythagoras. So it tells you that you have to use Pythagoras in it. So Pythagoras theorem says the sum of the squares of the two small sides where the angle triangle is equal to the square of the large side. So uh, you're trying to find out the long side here. So uh, what Pythagoras theorem says is that 96 squared plus 180 squared um, would have to equal uh, whatever b is to be squared. So you need to square 96 So you should get 9216. And then if you square 180, so 180 squared on the calculator, you should get 32400. And that's equal to p squared. So then if we add the two of those together, uh, we should get 41616. That's equal to p squared. And then the last part for Pythagoras always is to do the square root. So you do because b squared equals 41616. So therefore to get what b is, you do the opposite. So you square root. And the final answer then is 204. So that's the length of b. Part C then, uh, use your calculator to find out the size of the angle C, correct, to the nearest degree. So it tells that tan of C is 96 over 180. So you, what you have to do is you have to do the opposite of tan, which is tan inverse. So when you're working out an angle, you always use tan inverse. So C is going to equal tan inverse of 96 over 
180, so you need to put that into your calculator then. Uh, so you're going to press shift or second function, and then you're going to press tan, and then you press the fraction button, and then you put in 96 over 180. And then when you do that, and you press equals, you get you get a decimal, so 28.0, and then a decimal keeps going. But they ask you in the question to round it to the nearest degree, so it rounds off to 28 degrees. Wrong answer.